happened two days ago at the North Pole. Two Eskimo hunters reported it. They were scared to death. Sounds like a big meteorite crashed up there, right, Dr. Darian? Perhaps, but that wouldn't explain these other strange happenings. Temperatures dropping all over the Northern Hemisphere, a blizzard in Florida, snow in the Panama Canal Zone. Anyway, our orders are to head north fast as we can and find out the truth. Captain, look! The channel buoys! They're clear out of the water, up on the rocks! Cause that, the level of the ocean would have to drop 20 feet. That's impossible. Unless the whole Earth is freezing. Aunt Quinn, look at this! What's the matter, Pete? Ever see anything like that? Those porpoises swimming like they're frightened of something. And over there, walruses and seals. It's like a stampede. All heading south, as if they were running away. Look over there! Great blue whales, the biggest living things on Earth. And they seem terrified. But of what? What could scare them? Icebergs. They're everywhere. They're giants. I've never seen anything like these birds. And they've never been seen this far south. Aunt Quinn, look over there. It looks like it is a whole wall of ice. It's as if the whole ocean were freezing. That would explain the water level dropping, Brock. The same thing happened during the last Ice Age. But that was 10,000 years ago. This is now. We've got to get out of here or we'll be trapped. They're closing in behind us, Captain Major. It's no use. There's no way out. The calico will be crushed like an eggshell against the ice. Unless... Godzilla! Godzilla. <laughs>
And not any too soon. There's no way the Calico can get through that ice barrier. But maybe the Explorer sub can find a way beneath the ice. There is supposed to be warm bottom currents, heated by geothermal steam in this area, Carl. I think I see a passageway, Captain, on the view screen. Yes, I've got it too, Brock. 15 degrees starboard. We'll give it a try. Up from the depths, 30 stories high, three 